Hello guys and gals, ETCG here. And in this tutorial, you should learn how to install Ubuntu 16.04 on Mac OS X. This process is called a dual boot, which means you can choose between Ubuntu and Mac when you start up your comp computer. So to start, we need a Mac and a 4 gigabyte or more flash drive and uh, you will also need to have to erase this flash drive in the process of installing Ubuntu so please keep that in mind and also before you continue please back up any important information on your computer because in, in case something goes wrong you'll need it to restore it so to start go to my website a link to this will be in the description click downloads in the navigation bar then click downloads as mentioned in my videos and click bootable drive maker for Mac. In the future, this may be further down on the web page, so you just may have to scroll down to find it. But for now, it's in the top. And then after that's done downloading, you can close out your web browser and open up an application called Terminal. You can open, do this using a spotlight search. Then you type in sudo bash and then make sure you have a space at the end there and then drag in that file you just downloaded and then hit enter it will prompt you for your computer's password so enter this and then hit the enter key and there are operating system choices here and we want to install Ubuntu so just hit A and then enter and this will take a little while to download and while it's downloading we need to open up an application called Disk Utility to do a few things um, so the first here is we need to form like erase our uh, USB flash drive and then get its identifier. So you select your flash drive. Remember, it has to be four or more gigabytes. Click erase. Make this MS DOS fat, and I'll just name it Linux. And then click erase. And click done and then look down here to the right and it says device remember this the device's name right here disk 2 uh, if it has like an S and then another number after it get rid of the S you only need the disk and then the first number if you have an S and any other number the installation will not work so uh, just make just remember that so disk 2 maybe for you it might it's probably going to be like disk 1 but I have two drives inside my computer, so it's the next number down. So after you're done with that, you can just close out a disk utility. We're going to be opening it back up later when we partition our main hard drive. <clears throat> now I'll just fast forward this part out. And So after it's done downloading, it will convert the downloaded file to the needed format so it can be put on the USB drive. This will take a little while as well, so I'll fast forward this part out. <clears throat> okay, so after that's done, we uh, need to enter in the value we got in disk utility, which for me was disk 2. Uh, for you, it's probably going to be disk 1, but it can change. So uh, and then after that, you just hit enter. And then it should unmount and disappear off your desktop, and then you'll have 20 seconds to abort, and you can do this by hitting Control C. And after that, it will uh, create the bootable flash drive. Okay, so after the drive is done being uh, created, uh, you should get a message like this. Just click Ignore, and it should say Drive Created. It means it was created correctly and like successfully. So. Uh, after that's done, you can just close out a terminal. And now we're ready to move on to the next section of the tutorial. Okay, so now we need to add new partition so Ubuntu can be installed on our computers. So to do this, open Disk Utility up. And then we have to select our main hard drive. Uh, for you, it's gonna be it should be the top one, and it, and the drive label, like the the volume name should be Macintosh HD. I just changed mine to ETCG since uh, I wiped my computer before and I had the option to change it. So uh, it's ETCG for me, but it should be Macintosh HD for you. So then click the actual 
like drive up here instead of the volume, click partition, then click plus. Make this whatever size you want. For me, I don't need a lot of space, so it's going to be small. So 15 gigabytes is fine. Uh, select MS DOS, and then just name it Linux, which is fine. So uh, you have to remember the size and then the type. Uh, so that's MS DOS, and then the size is 15 gigabytes, roughly. It's because when you go into the actual Ubuntu installer, you'll need this information in order to uh, deduce the correct drive to install uh, Ubuntu on. So, and then when that's done, just click apply. Okay, so here we can see that the operation was successful. So then we can click done. And now, see, right here we have a partition named Linux. So then after you see that, we're ready to move on to the next part of the tutorial. Okay, so now we're actually going to be installing Ubuntu. So what you need to do is restart the computer so we can load up our Ubuntu installer. So click the Apple and then restart. And then um, restart your computer. After the computer turns off, hold down the Option key before it turns back on. And then keep on holding it down until you see the... Uh, Apple's boot manager. If you have a firmware password set, then you'll need to enter that in. Uh, after you're in Apple's boot manager, you can use the arrow keys to move around, and then you can hit enter when you're on the option you want. Uh, you can, we can just use the first one here and then hit enter. Now we were given this screen, and uh, the options here are try Ubuntu without installing, install Ubuntu, uh, OEM install for manufacturers, and then check disk for defects. Well, we want to install Ubuntu, so then just hit the down arrow key and then hit enter. And then this will load Ubuntu's installer. And this shouldn't take too, too long, but it may, the time may vary depending on your system. Okay, so now that Ubuntu's installer is loaded, select your language, and then click continue. And then click install this third party software. This will just give you access to things you might need and then click continue. Okay, so then we already created another partition for Ubuntu to be installed on, so just click something else where we'll manually install it, like without any guiding. Oh, well, I'll, I'll guide you, but, and then click continue. So now after all the partitions and uh, the information like that loads, oh, here we go. Um, so we need to find the partition we made that looks somewhat similar to the one that uh, we made in Mac, so uh, I have another drive here, so you'll so it has more partitions, so you'll actually have less options here than I do. But we have to find the one that has the mount roughly the same mount. Um, let's see here. So we're looking for the mount that we chose in megabytes. So for me, I chose 15 gigabytes, so that's roughly 15,000 megabytes. So. And also on the left here, you can look for FAT32, that's uh, MS-DOS. And there's only two options here. This is not it, because that's my other drive and my computer. So it must be this one, because it's the only other option. And this is roughly 15 gigabytes. So after you find your specific drive, double click it. Uh, keep the size the same, and change it to extension 4, which is the top option. Click format the partition, and then type in slash for the mount point then click OK, click continue, okay so now we need to remember this part right here slash dev slash sdb4 for you may change um, but because that's where we actually need to install it so we need to go over here and this is the drive right this is the um, partition right here that we want to install on so just select it uh, it'll probably be different for you depending on which partition it is in the in, uh, partition manager here. But so after everything's set, then click install now. Click continue. Select your time zone, then click continue. Select your keyboard layout, and then click continue. And then you can type in some of your information about yourself here. And then you can keep all these options the same. You can toggle them if you want. And then just hit continue. And then it will install Ubuntu. 
Uh, I'll fast forward this part out since it takes a little while to install. Okay, so here we go. The installation is complete. Now we need to click restart now to restart our computer. And uh, then we'll boot into the Ubuntu desktop. So we need to remove our flash drive it says to do. And then press enter. Okay, so now it's prompting us to enter in our password that we just set in the installer. Okay, so here we are. We are in the Ubuntu desktop. And uh, with Ubuntu 14.04, uh, sometimes the Wi-Fi drivers are not installed by default. On this, I believe they are, so you should be able to connect to Wi-Fi networks. But if they aren't, please leave a comment and I'll give you some instructions on how to get your Wi-Fi working. But other than that, we have a full-fledged Ubuntu desktop here. Uh, on running on a Mac. So the next part of this tutorial I'll show you how to make it so you can choose which OS to start up when you turn on your computer. So to start off here we need to go back into Mac. So click the button up here, click uh, shut down and then click restart and as your computer's restarting hold down the option key again. So then choose Macintosh HD or your whatever you named your drive and then hit enter. And then it will load up your regular OS. So now I need to install the Refine Boot Manager so we can choose between Linux and Mac when we start up our computer. So the first step is to put in your flash drive. And you should get a message like the following. Click ignore. Or actually, click initialize because that's we need to open up disk utility anyways. Click on your flash drive. Mine is right here. Click Erase. Um, click MS DOS FAT. Just type in some name. I'll just call in, preferably with no spaces, that would make this a lot easier. Um, I'll just name mine Refined. And then Erase. And then click Done. So now we have our flash drive, so you can close out a disk utility. And you'll have to go to this website here. I'll leave a link to it in the description and just click download. And then after this is done downloading, uh, you can close out of your web browser. And then we need to unzip this and then put the folder that it creates into our flash drive. So here we go. So you can close out of here. Uh, open up a finder window. Downloads. Double click. And we have to drag this to our flash drive. And uh, so here we go. It should be now in, under our flash drive right here, Refine. So you can go into our downloads folder and you can delete these two things here. Okay, so now we need to restart our computer to install Refine to the boot manager. So click the Apple, restart, and then hit restart. As your computer's turning uh, on, hold down Command R at the same time. This will start it up in recovery mode. This will take a while to load, so just give it its time. Okay, so after that started up, we need to click Utilities, Terminal, uh, type in CD slash vol volumes with only a capital S, and type LS. And then remember the drive name you uh, made your drive? For us, it was Refined. So type in Refined, um, and then type LS and then type in CD and then the folder name there. Okay, and LS, and then look for Refine Install. For me, that's right over here on the right this side right there. Now we need to run that, so, refi so we write a period, a slash, and then Refine dash install. Okay, and then look over the output to make sure there's no errors anywhere. Okay, yep, so it looks fine. Uh, for you, the output may look a little bit differently since I already had it installed um, in part. But So here we go, it's uh, Refine's done being installed. And then if your computer starts up normally, and then you get this screen right here, you're ready to go. So uh, there you have it. You can choose between Ubuntu and Mac when you start up your computer. So there you have it, guys. That's how you install Ubuntu 16.04 on Mac OS X. Uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.